Hello everyone, this is Mwesu Gamugwa Bosco, the Teacher Wisdom Center uh, in Ibugesera, that is Karumuna. Uh, as usual, I'm your science teacher, and uh, yes, I've again come back that uh, we go through our activities. Yes, so today majorly we want to look at a revision activity uh, of different work we've been looking at. So yes, let us uh, be together, and in this discussion, are you please uh, remind you we are going to actually be together to discuss. Uh, we get together two different questions and the list uh, We make sure that at the end of the lesson, yeah, we are together, such that in any case you go maybe anywhere or let's say uh, teachers ask you, you're able to answer. Yes, so please, uh, this time, yeah, let us handle the work that we have for today. So majorly uh, in our lesson today, as well as you are going to have an activity. So this activity we are doing together, yeah, number one, we actually, uh, yes, you can see, it's just about the work we've been learning. So yeah, it's good that uh, we can revise it. So number one says, uh, the three types of blood vessels are dash, dash, and capillaries. Yes, oh, so we have been given one of them. But uh, we need to understand the first, what are blood vessels? So simply as uh, last time we discussed about it, we said uh, that the blood vessels are simply tubes that carry blood around the body. Okay? Yes. So in these ones, we looked at last time, remember I heard about the, uh, the capillaries, looked at uh, arteries and the veins as blood vessels, majorly three. So we asked this just to complete this. So what do you think will be uh, the ones remaining? Okay, okay, for number one, okay, we can do it together, simply, you can see. Uh, so we said we have these two types of blood vessels, the three, and uh, we have arteries, okay, arteries, uh, then bring veins, yes, and lastly, capillaries. So you can be asked to mention the three types of blood vessels. So simply talk of uh, veins, capillary, capillaries, and arteries. And then these types, remember, the arteries are the largest blood vessels uh, followed by veins. So veins are medium, okay? They are the medium blood vessels in size. Then when you go to capillaries, they are the smallest blood vessels. So when they ask you which of the above is the smallest blood vessels, largest blood vessels, medium, Okay, it becomes quite easy, yes, for us to answer. Because we know that arteries are the largest blood vessels, okay? And remember, the largest artery in the body is what? Okay? Iota. And then the veins are medium blood vessels, but largest vein in the body, which is the vena cover, as we discussed last time. So, come back to capillaries, they're the smallest blood vessels. So, come here, number two, yes, we asked, what name is given, yes, uh, to the following? Yes. So, looking at this, we ask, check, uh, A, the largest blood vessel. Okay? So, for A, we are asked to measure the largest blood vessel. So, from the three, arteries, veins, and capillaries, and the capillaries, which are the largest blood vessels, please? You can answer here. Are they arteries? Are they veins or their capillaries? So choose one of them as the largest blood vessel. Then, still we asked the smallest blood vessel. So of arteries, veins, and the capillaries, which are the smallest blood vessels? Still you can answer here, okay? Uh, but for your attention, remember, yes, we said uh, that uh, the veins are medium blood vessels. So we will remain with arteries and veins. So you can use that and answer here, which is largest, which is smallest blood vessel. Uh, so this uh, can take us to part three, where we are asked to state any one function of capillaries. Yes, capillaries have got majorly two functions. Majorly two functions, okay? Uh, yes, these two functions, okay? You can see that uh, uh, the two functions, the two functions, the two functions, okay, of the blood, of blood capillaries, okay? Yes, so we can simply, yes, have the two, yeah. 
So blood capillary is majorly, if you look at the functions, we simply say that they connect, okay, arteries to veins, simply, or join. So that can be the function, you can say connect arteries, okay, to veins. Yeah, those are simply uh, arteries, okay, uh, the capillaries. Yeah, so if this is a capillary, if you are to draw, okay, uh, last time we drew capillary, we drew different, different blood vessels, okay. If you are to look at this, yeah, just say, uh, so this simply says, so you can say, it joins, so here can say, if in the case we say here veins, or we can say arteries, side, spine, artery, and then this way we say vein. Yeah. So it will join the vein to artery or artery to veins. That's a capillary. Okay? So this is a capillary simply. Uh, so majorly connect arteries to veins. Uh, we can also have the next function as an exchange of blood materials. Okay? Yeah. They also help to exchange okay, of blood materials. Can add as this next function. They help in exchange of blood materials. Help in exchange of blood materials. Okay? Yeah. So when we come now to the next part, uh, we are asked, okay, uh, the difference between arteries and veins. Yeah, so to look at this difference here, it's very quite clear that uh, you can look at maybe like the structural differences, okay? But to make it easy for you, look at the structures first. It becomes very easy. So if we get here, okay, let us look at these two structures. We draw them properly. Yes, and then look at, compare the two. Uh, so if we look at an artery here, let us say artery, okay? Uh, remember for arteries, uh, they have got thick walls, okay? And now rumen. So the rumen, the inner part is very small, okay? But they have got wide, or oh, yes, this part, the, 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 the walls are thick. So these can be arteries, okay? If you draw an artery, okay? This can show flow of blood, yes. Uh -huh. So checking on this, so this simply, you can say the inner part here as the lumen. Uh, okay? And then look at this one here, the walls. So they have got thick walls. Okay? That is A, an artery, you can see. So if you have B here, okay, a vein. Drawing a vein, look at here simply. Uh, for a vein majorly, you find it's going to be the opposite here. If, if uh, arteries have got narrow rumen, for veins will be having a wide rumen. So if you draw the inner part here, which, you are, which is showing the rumen, you see it's wide. And then the walls are thin, so thin walls. Okay? If you compare this, yes. So this can be can simply represent an, at, uh, a vein. So this can be flow of blood, okay? Uh, but remember still on this, we need to show uh, uh, the, 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 the valves, okay? So you can see for vein, these are valves, okay? So they have got valves which prevent back flow of blood. Uh, talk, of, talk of the room, uh, or the wall, so they have got thin walls. Can say thin wall, okay? Then look at uh, this middle part here. That is uh, the lumen. So simply with veins, I've got wide lumen. Wide lumen. 
Yeah. So this simply gives us a difference looking at them, the two. Look at the artery and the vein. So when you ask as a primary six people, it becomes easy for you. If you can have those structures in you, okay? When you ask about arteries and veins to give a difference, look at them, draw them simply and see. So we are saying that for like, yes, looking at the parts, we can simply get a difference. So we can see just one, number one, as let's say the first difference. We can look at uh, their walls, okay? We can simply arteries have on this side, have thick walls. Okay? Now, if they have thick walls, what will be the lumen? Look at the, look at the arteries, the walls, and see. Thick walls, okay? Come out the wall of the vein, which is thin. So, here have thin walls. Have thin walls. Yes, the next difference. You can check, check on the lumen of, of the artery and the lumen of the, of the vein. Which of them uh, is narrow? So he actually can add here, narrow lumen, okay? Yes, narrow lumen. Uh, that is majorly, okay, if you had to check, size of the lumen and the, of, of artery and the vein. So here, number two, checking, we can say that uh, uh, arteries have got, have narrow lumen. Uh, and the other side of the veins, for veins the lumen is wide. So here have wide lumen, have wide, Lumen. As simple as that. Yeah, check on next structural difference. Which of the two, which of them have got uh, valves? Check here. We have no valves on arteries, but when you come to the veins, we have got valves. So you can say here, that's number three. Uh, for arteries, have no valves. Have no valves. Uh, then this hide. When we check on the veins, you can see here, uh, veins have got valves. So here, veins have, have valves. Yes, have valves. Uh, majorly, uh, valves, these are structures that prevent back flow of blood. So you can ask you, what's the major function of valves in blood circulation? Simply say, prevent back flow of blood. Okay, yeah, so if they ask if you check about the, you check on the parts of the clinical thermometer, they can, you can have a comparison there. They can ask you, uh, they can uh, check out, uh, yes, uh, how, yes, how is, uh, how are valves, yes, if you check here, how are valves similar to the kink in the functions? You can, so for the kink in, on the clinical thermometer, will prevent back flow of mercury, okay, and for this, prevent back flow of blood. And those are all liquids. So you can say they both prevent backflow of liquids. So that can be, quick, uh, as a comparison, you can find that, they can ask you, yes. So check on this, next. I want to look at next point. Look still at, at, valve, at uh, veins and arteries. Which of them carry blood towards the heart? And which of them carry blood away from the heart? Okay? If you check on arteries, talk of pulmonary artery. You see blood from the heart to the lungs. Talk of the aorta. Blood from the heart to all body parts. Meaning, simply arteries carry blood away from the heart. Yes, maybe except the coronary arteries, which supply blood with the heart. Those are the coronary arteries, but mostly arteries carry blood away from the heart. And veins, talk of the vena cava, uh, pulmonary vein. For them, they bring blood, okay, towards the heart. From all body parts back to the heart, that's the vena cava, okay? From the lungs back to the heart. That's pulmonary vein. So simply, veins carry blood towards the heart. So this can be a difference. So check on number four. Uh, arteries carry blood away from the heart. Carry uh, blood away from the heart. 
carry blood away from the heart. Okay? Then uh, this side, the opposite, for veins carry blood towards the heart. These ones carry uh, blood towards the heart. Towards the heart. Okay? Yes, so we have more differences, okay? So, yes, which we can ask. So, we can write up to at least six. So, we can now come to the two remaining more. Uh, for this, talk about types of blood. Which of them carry blood with oxygen? Carry blood, uh, that is the oxygenated blood. Which of them carry oxygenated blood? So, you can check on that, okay? Uh, then, still talk about the blood pressure. Which of them carry blood under high pressure? Okay? And then which of them carry blood under low pressure? So you can have those two more differences. Add there too, that we get together. So please, whichever number left for you, you do it. Okay? If we get a problem, you can check on us and we help you to complete. But for here, get other two differences. One based on pressure. There are some which carry high blood pressure and others carry blood under low pressure. Okay? Then there are those which carry blood with oxygen and other carry blood with, without oxygen. So please uh, complete what's remaining. Then uh, we push to number five. Next number here we asked, okay? Uh, which blood vessel, okay? We are given A, carry blood away from the heart. Yes. So these three blood vessels, uh, which we talked of from our number one first. That is uh, eye arteries, veins, and capillaries. Okay? So which blood vessels carry blood away from the heart? Yes. So simply this. Uh, you can answer this. Okay? And then, uh, then we go to B, part B. Uh, which blood vessels? Then you can say carry blood. Towards the heart. Okay. Yes. So number five, we asked which blood vessels, part A, carry blood away from the heart, from the heart, other parts of the body. Then part B, uh, which blood vessels still carry blood towards the heart, from all body parts back to the heart. So this can be done, okay? Please try to answer that. Yes, it will be good as we go together. Uh, the part we leave for you, we answer, the part we answer together, we keep, okay, updating ourselves, such that uh, the time we get back to school, yeah, you'll be super in this kind of work, that you'll get no problem. And then, so we move to next number, that is number six, and uh, we asked, uh, the main artery in the body, oh, sorry, the main artery is the dash, while the main vein is the dash. Yes, we talked of this. Which is the major artery? Which is the major vein? Okay? Yes, so we talked of aorta as the major artery and uh, vena cava as the major vein. Yes, so uh, you can simply now, you can simply analyze together. Uh, okay, aorta will be the major artery, and then when we come to, then while the major vein or the main vein is the dash, which is the vena cava, okay? In the word vena cava, remember it is spaced, there are two words, vena cava, okay? Yes, so the num number now says, the main artery is the iota, while the main vein is the vena cava. As simple as this, so this is very common, so you need to know. Which is the major artery and which is the major vein? And then we can move to next number as number seven. Now in this number we are asked, what's the function of valves in blood circulation? Yes, uh, we have looked at this. Look at this when we're talking about the vein. We talked about the valves. You can see veins have got valves. What's the function of the veins during blood circulation? So please, yes. You can answer this number. Yeah, it's good. Such that uh, when you move on, you can't easily forget. Please remember, do things together 
it makes uh, you keep well with this work. Uh, so look at the function of the valves, okay? The different valves in the body, okay, within the heart. Uh, talk of the tricuspid valve, the bicuspid valve, the semilunar valves, okay? So as you name parts of the heart, all those valves are there. So please, why are those valves there? When the human heart, so they are important. So please check on that. And then we come to number eight. Number eight, we asked, which of the arrangements below represent small circulation of blood? Okay? Uh, remember here, we learned, about, we learned about blood circulation. And they simply say that the blood circulation is the movement of blood in the body. As simple as that. Not so. Blood moving from different parts to other parts. Okay? That's called blood circulation. So in this, there are two types of blood circulation. We have the small circulation and then big circulation. Okay? So from our last discussion, yeah, we say they can give you different arrangements and then you, what should be the small or big circulation? So you have to be aware that blood moves from which point to which point in each type. So here we are given part A. We have heart to body and then back to heart. Then in number B, you're given from the heart to lungs and back to heart. Then part C, uh, we are given, yes, uh, that's part C, lungs to heart. So they can give you arrangements which are correct and the mix which are not correct. So you are going to identify as a P6 member. Yes, please. So remember we say that simply, we can say for big circulation, there should be body. And the arrangement is always from the heart and again back to heart. The only difference in the middle part, okay? So you can say, check here, movement of blood from the heart to the body or other body parts and back to the heart. This is simply big circulation. When you come to part B, see, movement of blood from the heart to lungs and back to the heart. Okay? This now be small circulation. Then uh, when we come to part C, part C we are asked, uh, we are given lungs to the heart. Check. Is the arrangement correct? This, arrange, this, are a long, this is a long arrangement. Okay? It's a wrong, it's a wrong arrangement because uh, the movement of blood, when you talk about majorly, you need to have majorly blood from the heart back to the heart. Okay? So majorly always fall from the heart and back to the heart. You should have those components. So only from lungs to the heart. It is just part, not a complete circulation. So we can now, base on that idea, and answer our question. So we say that from the heart, the body and back to the heart is a big circulation because body is all body parts. Then from the heart to lungs and back to the heart is small circulation because lungs is just an organ of the body. So this represents small circulation. So for this case, we are asked to answer which of the arrangements below represent small circulation. So we can simply look at uh, P part B. Do you see? Yeah, part B will be our answer. The movement of blood from the heart to lungs and back to the heart simply uh, will become the small circulation, will be our answer. Because for, from heart to body and all and back to the heart, that's simply representing big circulation. And then part C from lungs to heart, this is a false statement, because it's yes, we know blood can move from lungs to heart, but it's not a complete type of blood circulation. It's just a part of the small circulation. Uh, remember, small circulation is also called the primary circulation, and then the big circulation is also referred to systemic circulation. Why do we refer this big circulation to, to, to systemic circulation? Systemic comes from the word system. So, and the system is a combination of different organs, okay? Different body organs, so it becomes a system. Yes, so if you say, if you talk of a circulatory system, it's containing the heart, uh, the lungs, uh, the liver, the kidneys, so all those body organs. Yes, but remember the major organs, the blood vessel, blood, and the heart. Yes, so this is very important as we come to the end of our lesson. Please, uh, you can easily get more activities. Uh, okay, 
always watch BTN TV, uh, get more activities there. Still check uh, on YouTube, we'll be having more videos. You check, you can get more activities. Uh, still check on our websites, we'll be having these questions, uh, these activities. So please keep with us that at least you keep updated every time with the work, such that uh, when you get back to school, you have no problem. So this can bring us to the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching.